Hi, I'm David Cox, owner and audiologist here at East Coast Hearing. This is our second video blog, and it's part two of how to safely remove earwax. Uh, for those of you that tuned into part one, uh, you might have been disappointed to learn that you shouldn't be removing earwax. Earwax is actually uh, quite important, uh, and most of us produce just the right amount to have healthy ears. For those that don't produce quite enough of it, uh, if they try and remove uh, wax, usually they just make their ears more itchy uh, and irritated. Uh, for those that produce too much ear wax and tend to have blocked ear canals, uh, if they try and remove ear wax, uh, more often than not, they can pack wax deeper in their ears and, and there's certain uh, dangers involved uh, in, in trying to remove ear wax. Uh, this video, I'm gonna show you the tools and methods we use here in the clinic to uh, effectively and safely uh, remove wax. All right, so now we're gonna do a demonstration uh, with Christine here uh, of the three methods of removing wax from the ear. So using our otoscope, the first thing uh, we always do is have a look into the ear. So the specula, the, the tip of the otoscope goes inside and we have a close look down in there, make sure that things look healthy. We wanna check for that wax, how deep is the wax um, uh, before we uh, begin uh, with any method of removal. So the first method uh, I'm gonna demonstrate is irrigation, so that's flushing with water. So I'm not actually gonna use water, but I'll show you the method. This is a little basin that I'll get Christine to hold there, up against, uh, just below the ear against the side of the head. Uh, she would tilt a little bit my way, so the water going in is gonna come back out. Uh, we've got our uh, stainless steel syringe here. Uh, the end would go in some warm water. Um, I would draw back pulling water into the syringe, bring it up to the ear, give her some instruction in terms of you know, what she's likely to feel and that it's not gonna hurt her. Uh, the tip goes in just not too far in the ear uh, and very gently I flush the water into the ear. Um, you can generate quite a bit of force with this, so it, it is important that it's just very gently done. We're, we're just pushing that water in and having it run back out, hopefully with the wax in it. Um, take the basin away. I'd have another look with my otoscope just to check and see. There might be wax in the little basin there, but there still could be wax left inside. So we look in, if there still was wax, we'd flush it again. Um, if not, we're checking to see that everything's out of there and everything still looks healthy. Um, another method uh, is using curettes. So, when we're gonna be working around inside the ear canal with this tool, uh, we need to see exactly every movement uh, that we're making. So I put on my uh, magnifying loops, turn the light on, the little, it's like a little funnel, the little specula goes inside. Uh, it helps me to see more clearly in there and gives me, um, gives me something to work through. And the curette, travels down inside, I brace myself against my other hand and very gently get behind the wax to pull it back out. It's important that I, I brace myself so that if Christine moves, my hands are moving with her. Uh, if she moved towards me, my hand comes towards me as well. Uh, so the curette is a, is a great way of removing wax. Um, the third way, and I, I guess I should say in between here, uh, after I use the curette, I would look back in at the otoscope to confirm that everything was successful and healthy. Uh, the third way is with the suction. So again, because I'm gonna be working inside the ear, sort of probing around, I wanna see exactly what I'm doing. So my loops go back on. I use the, uh, the specula again into the ear, it's sort of the same position she would have been in with the curette. Uh, I won't actually turn the pump on, but I would, I would tell Christine it's gonna make a certain amount of noise just so she's not alarmed. Very gently go in, I've got the, uh, the tip here, the stainless steel tip, tip resting against my thumb so that if Christine moves, everything moves together. Um, I suction out the wax, uh, take it back out, and uh, you know if I felt that I was successful and had done the job, I grab the otoscope again, have another look, carefully look all around in there, um, you know, make sure everything looks healthy. The, uh, the important part of when we take wax out of the ear is that we have the proper tools uh, and that we're able to see what we're doing. Uh, that's, that's what makes it uh, safe and successful. Thanks for tuning in.